Hi friends, in this problem let us solve a single sum system related question asked in grade 1991 in C paper. The question is the impulse response and the excitation of a causal ATA system are shown in figure A and B. This is figure A, figure B. Respectively, the output of the system at T is equal to 2 seconds. So they are given impulse response H of T and X of T input. So what is the output they are asking? So we know when we are knowing impulse response and the input, what is output? It is given by convolution between input and the impulse response. Right? So here they asked output at t is equal to 2 seconds. So convolution I find I use the shortcut method y of 2. Right? So it is equal to minus infinity 2 plus infinity x of tau h of 2 minus tau d tau right so now you change the variable the tau is a dummy variable so i can make it as x of t h of 2 minus t dt this is my y of 2 so what i have to do what is the meaning of this equation this is nothing but integral is area under the curve so area under x of t h of 2 minus t so x of t they are given what is x of t this is x of t so all that i write so x of t is 1 by 2 0 2 6 this is my x of t next to what i have to find h of 2 minus t this is h of t, h of t is 0 to 6, h of 2 minus t, we have to find. So, h of t is 0 to 6, h of minus t is 0 to minus 6, h of 2 minus t is minus 4 to 2. So, what we have to find? We have to find area under multiplication of these two. If we multiply these two from the minus 4 to 0, it has no value, so 0. 0 to 2 only, we have only values. In that, the amplitude is 1. So, from 0 to 2, 1, beyond 2, there is no other value. So, 0 to 2 only, we are having value. This is 1. If you multiply 1 with this, what we get is, we will get... 0 to 2 1 by 2. This is our x of t h of 2 minus t. What is the area under this? It is area is of b h of b is 2 h is 1 by 2. So that is 1 by 2. So the answer is 0.5. So it is 0.5. Okay, I hope you understand this problem. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. We can solve the same problem in different method also. That is method number two. Let us see that. How can we find a different method? It is simple. You know, y of t is equal to x of t star h of t. What I do is I take uh, Laplace transform, find x of s, h of s. From that I take inverse Laplace and find a, a, a y of t. So what is my x of t? This is my x of t, right? So my x of t is like this. So let us go to here. This is my x of t. 0, 2, 6, 1 by 2. First I write the mathematical expression. x of t is, what is the expression for this x of t? Here it is 0, 0, 0, this is 0, 2, 1 by 2. So what is the slope? It is 1 by 2. Because y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So x1, y1 x2 y2 so slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 substitute all the values we will get not 1 by 2 it is 1 by 4.
Okay, let me do that. So one by four, what is that? Y two is one by two, y one is zero, x two is two, x one is zero. So one by four. Right? So here what is that? Here it is six comma zero, it is two comma one by two. If you do that, what we get is minus one by eight. So x of t is at t zero, there is a slope change r of t. Here are, this is RAM side, so that's why I put R of T. At T2 also there is a slope change. So R of T minus 2. At T0 again there is a slope change from here to here. So R of T minus 6. Here what is the slope? We know it is 1 by 4. Here what is the slope? It should be 1 by 4. From 1 by 4 to 0 it has to come. From 0 to minus 1 by 8. So slope change is minus 1 by 8 to minus 1 by 4, 8 you take minus 3 by 8, right? So slope change is minus 3 by 8. So here not 1 by 8, minus 3 by 8. Here minus 3 by 8 means here again what will happen? Sorry, it is 1 by 8 only. Total slope change is minus 3 by 8. Here minus 1 by 8 is the slope. Again it is going up. So zero, so it will be plus one by eight. This is the slope of minus one by eight. Here slope is zero, so plus one by eight will be it. Okay, this is my x of t. So simply x of t is one by four r of t minus three by eight r of t minus two plus one by eight r of t minus six. This is x of t. What about h of t? h of t is going from 0 to 6. So it is u of t minus u of t minus 6. Okay, take uh, operation sum x of x is equal to 1 by 4 by 1 by s squared minus 3 by 8 by 1 by s squared. Right, so next bit r of t minus 2. Okay, so e power minus 2 is plus 1 by 8, r of t is 1 by square t minus 6, e power minus 6 is. So similarly, h of s is given by 1 by s minus 1 by s e power minus 6. So what is my y of s? y of s is equal to x of s dot h of s. What they are asked to y of t at 2. So this is my r of x of s, h of s. If you multiply these two what you get is we will get when you multiply this you can uh, neglect this e power minus 6 and e power minus 6 what is the reason if you multiply this one with 1 by 6 e power minus 6 e power minus 6 means in the inverse law place you will get u of t minus 6 when you substitute t is equal to 2 it will be u of minus 6 that is minus 4 it will be 0 so similarly if you multiply e power minus 6 here also the same u of t minus 6 will come so that will also give 0 so this factor you can neglect, you don't need to include because in inverse Laplace they will give 0. So what I have taken is only this one, this one, this one and multiply. So x of s star h of s will be 1 by 4, right? So it is not 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 into 1 by s square minus 3 by 8 by 1 by s square multiply this with this this with this that is the only thing right so 1 by s into 1 by 4 1 by s cube right. this is 1 by 3 by 8 3 by 1 by s square into s 1 by s cube e power minus 2 is this two factor we are neglecting so this is our y of s. Y of, if you take uh, inverse Laplace, y of t is equal to 1 by 4. 1 by s cube inverse Laplace is t squared by 2. Because t squared Laplace transform is 2 by s cube. So t squared by 2 is 1 by s cube. Similarly, minus 3 by 8. Here e power minus 2 is z. So t minus 2 squared by 2 u of t minus 2 right so here you can put u of t no issue 
So when you put V of 2, what will happen? 1 by 2, 4 by 2. Right? And U of 2 is 1. And minus 3 by 8. T0 means 0. So what is the answer you are getting is V of 2 is 1 by 2. This is what we got already. So any method you can use, it is up to you to decide. Thank you.